This video assumes that you've already properly installed iOS Charts into your application. If you need to install iOS Charts, you can view this installation guide here. In this video, we're just going to get up and running with a basic line chart. We'll take a deeper dive into this library's API in another video. Let's get started by opening up our iOS Charts application. Once the application is loaded, we'll go to the main storyboard. Now we need to add a view for our line chart view to live on, so we'll search in the filter for UI view. And then we'll drag a UI view out onto our storyboard and drag it out so it's kind of a square. We'll add a couple of constraints. I'll add eight for the left, eight for the top, and eight for the right. And then we'll just have an arbitrary height. It doesn't really matter for this example. And then we'll add our four constraints. And then next we're going to go ahead and add a button, which we'll use for randomizing our chart. So we'll drag the button out there, and we are going to set the name to randomize. Now before we move on, we need to add our line chart view class to this UI view. So we'll go over to the identity inspector, and we'll set our class to line chart view. So now we can open up our assistant editor and drag our IB outlets and IB actions to our view controller. So I'll start with the line chart view. Control drag from the line chart view to your view controller and create an outlet named line chart view and click connect. Then after that, well actually Xcode's gonna complain because we didn't import our, our charts library. So we'll type import charts at the top, and we should see our error go away. Next, we'll add an IB action for our randomize button by control dragging from our storyboard to our view controller, and we'll name it randomize. Make the connection type action, and change the type to UI button, and click connect. Now that we have that set up, we can close our assistant editor and navigate to our view controller. So the first thing we're going to do is create a function named setChartValues. SetChartValues is going to take an int named count, and it's going to have a default value of 20. We'll go ahead and call this setChartValues from our view did load and we won't pass anything in. So when our chart first loads, it's gonna have 20 entries in it. I'll go ahead and paste the code in necessary to add data to our chart and then break it down. So our chart line view expects a line chart data object to provide data to the chart. And line chart data expects a data set called line chart data set, which itself expects, a, expects an array of chart data entry. So what we're doing with this method is we're passing in a random number, or no number, which in that case will be 20. We're going to pass in that number, and it's going to generate a range of numbers between 0 and whatever that number we passed in is. And then we're going to map those numbers into chart data, op into chart data entries, which are going to be stored in this values constant. So we're going to pass this constant into our line chart data set, which gets passed into our line chart data, and then gets added to our view. So the last thing that we need is our randomize function. I'm going to go ahead and paste that code in now. So this arc4 random generates a number between 0 and whatever number you pass in. And we always want our chart to have some data, so we're going to add 3 to that. So it, this could be this could generate anything between 0 and 20 values, and then we're going to add 3 to whatever that value is. So then we pass the result of this operation into our set chart values method and it generates our chart data. So I'm going to go ahead and build this and we should see data out on our chart. And we see we've got 20 values printed out onto our chart. If we hit randomize we can see that this number changes each time. So this is just the bare bones, no configuration version of the chart. In the next video, we're going to dig deeper into this API and uncover some of the cool things that we can do with this line chart view.